Hi, this is Active Quad Steve. I wanted to make a video, no studio, no special lighting, just me and the raw of some different things that I do to adapt um, around the house and in life, being a C6 quad with uh, closed hands, quad hands, and uh, doing things to be as independent as possible is a big deal for all of us that have sp spinal cord injury uh, and especially being a quad. And uh, so I thought I'd create a video that I call, here's how I, and then fill in the blank. I've learned some tricks of the trade over the years uh, between my wife and I coming up with ideas of how I can handle things literally. And uh, over 11 years that I've been a quad and I hope they'll help you uh, be more independent and be able to adapt to uh, quad life. Some things that I've learned on my own, like I said, and also at Casa Kalina Rehab Hospital in Pomona, where I was, they taught me some uh, tricks to uh, encourage me to be more independent. So, okay, let's check out some tips and tricks that I've learned and I wanna share with you. Let's start with my lap tray. I use this lap tray a lot. It's hard to handle things. You have to have them on, the, on a table or on your lap and with something flat like a lap tray in your lap, it's easier to handle. That's just a shoestring I have on it to loop around my finger or my wrist. I've got non-skid surface on it. Uh, from here I can uh, write notes and uh, put it back, put it back when I want. With that in mind, writing notes, I get this foam, insulation foam, and those of us that are quads know that you use your, you use your mouth a lot to take uh, lids off and different things, but with this, it fits into my hand better and uh, still write, write like a chicken scratch or Richter scale, but it's uh, legible. Do the same thing on, this is an envelope opener that my wife put the insulation foam on. And uh, I use this to, again, I don't know, wedge or pry, pry different things. I've got this back scratcher reacher, telescopic, and uh, same thing, hold on to that and use the teeth and uh, use that to reach things, reach out to things that I can't reach for whatever reason, and at least pull them to me where I can reach them normally. But again, the insulation fits in my hand and uh, makes it a lot easier to handle things. For zippers, anything with a zipper, these rings, I have rings, carabiners, on the different items that have zippers. Way to catch it with your thumb and, uh, and open and close zippers. I'll move on to this foam again. Foam on pencils, on both pencils that I can type with. And uh, I have this uh, Kensington uh, rollerball that I use on my wrist for the uh, cursor. Right click, left click, just as normal. For changing pages on books and magazines, I use a rubber thimble. Again, nothing's 
easy. Straighten out one finger. Oh, not cooperating. Yep, that's quad life. There we go. There. Now I've got a rubber thimble on my finger to turn a page. I don't have one as an example, but you get the idea. My cell phone. I have on my anchor makes this one. It's at an angle and uh, charges the phone for me. And from here I can <laughs> from here I can use my pinky knuckle and type what I want, choose things. Um, that moves on to whoops moves on to my phone the back of my phone phone I have a pop socket that helps me uh, get a grip on the phone again it's not perfect it's still a little loose but it helps a lot and this uh, grip uh, non-skid tape is from catstongue.com. Um, I'll put it in the uh, links below. And I also put the cat's tongue on um, handles that I need a grip on, like again, my uh, pencil wrapped around that. These are gloves for life with a D ring on them. This is what I use to push myself around in my manual chair. Use the D-ring and uh, rubber palm. I'll have a link for these down in the bottom also. Gloves for life. They're 75 bucks. A little pricey, but everything's pricey in our world. Um, but I get through these a couple of, maybe a pair a year. And I get them year after year. They're uh, really great and they last you know, at least 12 months, depending on how much pushing around you do. That's gloves for life. And this is my purse, my man purse. Again, cat's tongue tape on this. So it's on my lap. It stays, stays put. I've got uh, rings and, and a carabiner on this to grab to unzip got my fob here for the van and let's open this up get a thumb in here again nothing's pretty but here we go come on now and that zips open this bag shoot this bag you can get at target walmart uh, these rings can get at Walmart. Um, I got money clip, money clip here, a couple of bills in it, and uh, my basic uh, cards, ID card, license, uh, credit card. Got my chapstick in there in, in one of the loops. Um, this zipper I don't use, so I don't have a ring on it. Um, in here, I have, when I go out to dinner, I've got another piece of insulation and with the tape around it and uh, same thing I just put the put a spoon or a fork in my mouth and then hold on to this and push it onto the end of the fork or spoon and now I'm ready to um, eat myself and uh, a lot easier to handle handle it some people uh, web web them put them through their fingers and that works for them, but this is something great that works for me. And again, I take that with me and pull it out when I go to a restaurant that's not handheld food and got my little, uh, my little container of mints in here. Uh, this is slippery and smooth. I should put tape on it, but anyway, 
Um, it happens to be one that I can hold on to and grab the little uh, edge with my teeth and pop it open and get a mint. Uh, so that's my Merce. And let's uh, zip it up again. Come on, hands. There, that works. Now I can want to show you another little thing. Let's put this lap tray back down. Here, uh, the Merce. Put the Merce on my lap. And if I'm uh, concerned about uh, big crowds, like Vegas, for instance, um, I'm no rich man, but uh, big crowds, if somebody could walk by and just snag this off my lap. Um, the D-ring on my seatbelt, I use to uh, clip it on with the carabiner. That's an idea that keeps it safe. No one's going to rip it off. Here I have my water bottle with a uh, water bottle holder for a bike frame. Again, Walmart, Target, they're real cheap and just uh, no tools needed for this one. It's got Velcro and uh, I get my Contigo bottle and put it in there. We all need to be drinking as much as possible. Um, this, since I can't hold one of the sports bottles and squeeze it, you know, pop the top and squeeze it, um, I use the one with the straw and uh, pop the top drink out of it, and uh, back on again, ready to go. Here's something that I learned about after a couple of years of being in a chair. This is uh, from Eurocare, a reusable latex sport bag. And this happens to be my right leg. I have one under my left leg, and when it start getting starts getting real puffy, um, I uh, give it a drain. A lot of my friends wear shorts and it's getting cooler now, so I've got pants on the last couple days, but shorts, it's right there. You just pull out the quick, quick release. Again, another ring and uh, flip this quick release to open it, drain it out into a bush on the side, out of uh, the way of people. Um, or uh, into a bathroom, of course, and um, pull out the tube and flip the uh, lever and uh, there, flip it that way, it's open, and then flip it this way, and it's closed. There we go. Everything takes at least two tries. And uh, drain it into a urinal or a toilet. And these pants, I'll put the link in down below. These are ABL denim. They make pants for wheelchair users. Um, they've got a little side pocket for your power bank, in this case, or for a cell phone. And in my case, because I can't grip things, um, I might put my cell phone in here, but only like halfway, so I can still get a grip on it. But uh, for paras, paraplegics, put things in, in here and it's real convenient instead of a pocket. And they don't have back pockets on them because of pressure sores. You don't want those rivets digging into your gluteus maximus uh, all day. And uh, there's a little uh, uh, spandex in these pants so they stretch a bit. And uh, what I did on quite a few pair of pants on all of them actually is uh, I went to a cleaners and for like 13 bucks they put on a zipper for me 
Nobody knows what it's there for, what it's about. And you put a loop on it. I could put a ring on it. This loop happens to be twisted from uh, a lot of washes. I need to change this string, but again, there's a loop. There we go. Okay, now that the loop is open, I could go in with my thumb and find the tube, which isn't easy sometimes. And uh, this zipper should really be down lower on my leg. But anyway, you get the idea. Pull that out, do the drain, and then use your thumb, tuck it back in, and the string cooperates. There we go. There, zipped up and ready to go. How about your basic bathroom items, toiletries? Here's uh, what hair I have left. Um, use a brush and my mother-in-law cut open, cut in half, cut a koozie in half, and put some elastic band around it, rubber band, and uh, made my handle fat, and it's still soft. So now I can handle the brush better. And uh, back to these ins pieces of insulation add that to for flossing add that to a handle so I can handle that and these just these are tricky to deal with sometimes I have my wife or a caregiver deal with them but these pop off and can be replaced when you're done with them um, manual razor the handle again this took me a while and a few nicks to get the hang of using this, and it's still pretty awkward. Um, and I don't have the can of shaving cream, but I use the bone in my wrist here to push the, the can, the top down on the can, to uh, get some lotion on my, or some foam on my wrist, and pat, pat that on my face and give myself a shave. But uh, that one's a... Uh, that one's a tricky one. I've gone to Electric Razor as of Father's Day. This was bought for me, Father's Day and my birthday. And uh, uh, much easier, don't have to use lotion. Again, back to a fat handle. Um, can lay this this way, get my pinky knuckle into it to turn it on and to turn it off. And get myself a shave. There we go. Those buttons aren't made for quad hands, but where there's a will, there's a way. Even my chapstick is fat. This is a Target men's section. Duke Cannon Balm. Um, nice fat. Fat lip balm. That this is what works for me. Hope it works for you too. Here's another idea for showering. I have uh, these uh, mitts that go on both hands. My caregiver opens the elastic and fits this in my hand. Um, I'm able to move from above my, my chest and above, above my uh, injury level. And I have a mitt in each hand, mitts in the outdoor department at Target, Walmart, put a mitt in each hand, and my caregiver washes me from the waist down and put water and soap on uh, two of these, and I can do my arms and my chest, do everything else except for my back. And uh, again, another little bit of independence by using these myself. Here's a couple more items I use around the house. I have both of these hanging on hooks on the back of the hall doorway. Uh, Swiffer, fat handle again. 
uh, some more foam on this would help make it a little bit easier to handle and uh, use this for some dusting around the house and also cleaning cobwebs off of uh, patio furniture in the backyard and the front this button on the side here um, I can't push very well but I can bite down on it and change the head so it's at a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle depending on where I'm reaching the next one is this uh, soft grip and this one a uh, big enough handle to hold on to has the trigger but because I can't grasp with my hands I can't pull the trigger well enough it does grab but I can't do this grab something and keep the tension on it so if anything it's for reaching reaching under a desk or a, a, a table something like that to pull drag or pull something towards me that I can't reach or uh, something as simple as grabbing something like that like a with the uh, yellow hook on it and grabbing it that way bringing it to me so I can hold on to it with my hands or using the screw on the end to hook something and bring it towards me so I can use my hands and uh, come on let go and then go from there utensils with fat handles can't go wrong I'll put a link to a page where uh, grips like this can be bought um, this is a spoon from home that was just put into this uh, gray holder um, this one here is uh, all in one For hot drinks we can't feel the heat with our hands some can some can't um, here's a cup that fits into a koozie that gives me insulation from a hot cup though this one's plastic and made for coffee um, and it helps with the grip too makes it a little fatter and a little bit of texture another idea Here's another idea, which may or may not seem obvious. Uh, a grudge door opener uh, right uh, on the side of the counter where I can reach at my level in a wheelchair. Uh, my wife put a put some uh, Velcro on the back, stuck it to the edge. It's out of the way, but within reach for me. And it's right next to the door where I go out to the garage. Something else to think about. Here's another idea, simple idea, with my uh, cabinets where my clothes are, with my quad hands. I could always get sideways and hook a thumb. Can't really hook my fingers very well, but maybe hook a thumb to get it open. But just a simple ribbon like this one. Um, and to hook your arm in and your wrist and pull it open or like my uh, lap tray, the uh, shoestring. Same idea, be able to get your hand in there and hook it back up in your chair, swing open the door, get to my clothes that are down at my level, and then a uh, simple push. That works. How about doorknobs? Instead of doorknobs, I had these before my accident when I moved in, but they've come in handy with quad hands and these uh, type of locks instead of a key. I can unlock it and get my hand over the handle instead of a doorknob. A handle works. Lock that. There's another type of knob 
or a handle, I should say, and that works. Great for me too, getting your hand around. That one's a closet door, but it works great. So I recommend you get yourself an Alexa. There she heard her name. Alexa, lamp on. Okay. With my quad hands, I can't reach up into a lamp to turn it on and off. We also have a fountain in the backyard that is plugged into uh, a smart plug and doesn't take much to set up. Alexa, lamp off. Okay. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5.05 .05 p.m. Enjoy your evening. You don't need to get the ones with the screens. We have that so we can see our daughter and grandkids and uh, my wife and her mother-in-law can keep up to date. Um, I recommend these for things like that and anything else that you can think of that you might be able to use, uh, use it with. Here's the Alexa in my room for uh, hands-free information, setting reminders, setting a timer, uh, turning things on and off that are plugged into a smart plug, which are uh, pretty easy to set up. Alexa, what time is it? It's 1.13 p.m. Alexa, fountain on. Okay. I've got the smart, like I said earlier, I've got a smart plug for my, the fountain or the waterfall I have in the backyard and to turn it on and off, hands free. Don't have to use a switch or a, it came with a little remote control, but it is little and hard to handle. Alexa, remind me in 15 minutes to turn the fountain off. Okay, I'll remind you in 15 minutes. Alexa, what's tomorrow's weather? Here's the forecast for tomorrow in Corona. Look for lots of clouds with a high of 73 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 54 degrees. Alexa, what's the weather on Friday? On Friday, November 12th in Corona, you'll see partly sunny weather and can expect a high of 90 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 57 degrees. Here's the setup I have on my valves. I'll get a close-up shot of it. Um, instead of um, twist knobs that I can't do with my hands, I've got uh, these um, valve, these levers, and uh, that way I can fit my hand over it and open and close the valve and uh, turn it on about halfway. It gives me enough water pressure to water the plants I need to. Here's the setup I have on the garden hose. I'll turn off the power on my chair and grab this. There, now it catches one sharp pull. And if I can fit my hand around the hose, I think it's just. I just expect things not to cooperate with my hands. Um, get a shot of this. I'm trying to get a shot from the side. There. Gives you an idea of the fire hose setup. I get the reel and uh, the fire hose setup, I call it. I'll tilt my head down better. And uh, hold on to it to spray. And then it's just pushing this back and forth because I can't hold a trigger sprayer and squeeze it so this is a way and then the uh, the end here um, swivels to get a, a spray or um, a, a wash or a jet and uh, let's see if I can get get my hand on here and from here I can back up my chair and hold on to it. Oh, yeah, it helps if I turn the power on. 
Oh, not a good grip. This is quad life. No, it's just not cooperating. Anyway, one, two, it catches. And one, two, it catches. I mean, that way or just backing up. Um, backing up and then one wind that way. You got to make sure it catches though. And uh, the spring on it, uh, the spring-loaded setup is very strong. It's hard to deal with. You need two hands. Um, it takes a takes a while to get used to it. And then I can just uh, pull on it and release. And yeah, good example. Good example. I could reshoot this, but I'm not because that's the way things go. Let's pull again. There. And then this swivels out of the way. Swivels back and forth if you want. I hope that gives you some good ideas for a setup um, outside at the hose. Here's my setup for the, uh, I have levers instead of knobs to turn the water on and off because uh, I can't grab onto the twist, twist knobs. These are levers I could fit my hand into if I got closer. Fit that into my hand and pull and push to turn the water off and on. Um, the one below it, the blue one, that's on the pipe that comes up from the street uh, into the house. Um, my wife also has trouble with her hand dexterity, so this is something both of us can use. And if there's an emergency in the house and there's a leak uh, that we can't control, then either one of us can come out here and pull on the blue handle and uh, turn off the water to the house. These levers are at Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, very common, but a great way to for us to be able to uh, deal with the hose and as I come up to my front door again a door handle I can pull this open and get inside but oh see issues swung it too sharp as we know, with the door open, now we can't reach out and close the door. This is a setup that I learned about and hook my hand to pull the door closed. I'll do another, whoops, come on foot. I'll do another video about this next time. There, again, things take two or three tries when you're in a wheelchair. Thanks for watching. See you next video.